Right, yes guys, welcome back to another video on the YouTube channel. Now, today, I've got a bit of a requested video. Uh, on the last video, some guys were asking in the comments if I could give like sort of an update on the whole Maxwell Corny situation. And I thought, well, there's not too much to it. Well, there is quite a bit actually, but it shouldn't be too hard to just get it down quickly in a video, get it out. So... Earlier this week, earlier last week, uh, Burnley received a bid from Everton after the express expressed interest early in the window. They, uh, they said loan with an option to buy of like 15 million or something like that. Apparently, Burnley didn't even entertain the offer, said no straight away. And then Everton are now preparing another bid, um, maybe close at the asking price, but it looks like they might not be able to afford the release clause. So as long as Burnley hold out and Corner doesn't force the move, then it looks like Corner will not be going to Everton. I could see Newcastle possibly being a more likely move if they don't get a hold of Diaby, just take him at the end of the window. I do feel like he will play at least one game for work. Probably the Huddersfield game. He is in Portugal um, for the training squad, which a lot of people didn't think would happen because of all the interest in him. You kind of presume, well, he probably won't go with all this interest, but he's gone anyway. Confirmed on the Burnley official story on Instagram. Uh, he was there getting ready. He's blonde. He's blonde hair. He's vanilla hair. But on to like maybe the more personal stuff of Corny. He does obviously really love the club. I'm pretty sure his wife's been moved over here. She got a little, I think. She, there was at some point something went round that should maybe move that location on a social media platform to Manchester. Uh, but apparently Corny really, really loves Burnley. Like, he, he saw the state he was in when we went down. He was distraught. Uh, the fans, the way he sort of... Because, I mean, in a way, we kind of revitalised his career. Obviously, things weren't going well from at uh, Leon. Uh, fans hated him. He was booed off. He wasn't playing where he wanted to play. He was playing left back. Uh, and then he came to Burnley, got to play on the wing. Obviously, sometimes still out of position up front, but the fans absolutely adore him and he gets so much love. So what is there not to love about Burnley, obviously, other than he is a Premier League standard player? Um, but for me, I think it's going to be a massive decision of his heart and his career. You know, another season where he potentially could be playing higher... Or a season where he fights it out with Burnley in the championships, pushes them to get promoted, and then is back on the main stage. He could even get a bigger move after a stellar season in the championship because he would absolutely rip up the championship. If we manage to keep a hold of Maxwell, then like there's no way we don't go up just solely because of how many goals he'll score. You'll rip people apart. So it's one of them ones. I do think it's his heart. That could be the one that forced him to stay. The, the release clause is very, very likely to be met. And we saw Vincent Company did say in an interview we'd have to look for life after Maxwell Corney, which is kind of expected. Um, but it is going to be very much so on Corney and Corney's decision. Because I can definitely see a team matching it. Probably Newcastle, possibly Everton. Hopefully not Everton, I hate Everton. But uh, yeah, it's... I don't know, it's, it's a hard one. He will... Definitely play at least one game. I'm very strong believer that he will play at Huddersfield um, and then possibly possibly a few more games. He won't go until the end of the window. I can't see it happening until late on, you know, with like Newcastle potentially missing out on Diaby, like I said before, and just coming in, grabbing him for the cheap because uh, he will be great for them. Uh, we know he's a great, great player. Like, you look at him, he didn't play many games. Well, I think he, he hit just over 20, maybe was it 27 games and got something like 12 goal contributions Considering he was playing all over the shop. It is good work, and it, especially in a Sean Dyche team, in a team that were very much so struggling. Um, so, yeah, it's 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 going to be upsetting if he does go. That's going to be another big player that we've lost. Um, and, you know, you want to keep the core of the squad, and it is looking, it, it probably is going to be hard. But as long as we keep the rest of the squad, we've made some very, very good signings. Obviously, if O'Hare comes in, which looks like it's practically a done deal for £6 million with add-ons, which would be very, very like productive. But Corny would rip it up next season. I'd be very sad to see him go. As of now, he's staying at Burnley. It's genuinely just going to depend on if an offer comes in and if Corny wants to take that risk and push on. Like Newcastle, he's probably going to still start every week. So it'd be pretty of a, pretty of a, a bit of a dumb move for him to not go, in my opinion. But anyways, testing times, testing times. Looks like we could have maybe nine done by the end of this week. Another two to be done. And uh, I guess we'll see, really. 
what it, it, it's exciting times it's exciting so if you do enjoy feel free to like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace